Hi everyone, in this video I'll cover the best Dolby VS10 processing settings to use with a Yugos AM6B Plus with a certain enthusiast core-like build for a Dolby Vision capable display. VS10 can also be used for HDR and or SDR displays, which I'll touch on briefly. I'm presently using a Nebula X1 projector and the objective is to leverage Dolby Vision on non-DV movies and shows. When it comes to HDR formats, we all know Dolby Vision gets the most love and attention from manufacturers and as a result, the best picture quality optimized for DV. Dolby VS10 is supported in a few media players including Homatics, Dune, and Zidu. See description below for the link to the Kodi forum thread with spreadsheet. The on-the-fly SDR or HDR conversion to DV using VS10 will look better than the original most of the time, though not always. At the time of this recording, the best Corelec build to use is AVDV+. This is based on the popular CPM builds with lots of VS10 configurability options. And in combination with a modified Kodi skin for these builds, we can get detailed video metadata insights and also be able to toggle to various VS10 processing modes on the fly, which I'll show in a bit. In Kodi, you get to the Dolby VS10 options via Settings, System, Corelec. For DV mode, select On Demand whether you have a DV display or not. On basically forces DV on all the time, and Off completely disables DV. Leave the video processor option off unless you want to or are using a Lumagen, Mad VR, or other external video processor. For video output type with a DV display, you'll get the best quality with display LED. With VS10 doing the SDR, HDR, or HDR10 Plus processing on the box side, and your DV display actually handling that DV signal that it's getting. For the other DV output types you just noticed, this wiki linked below explains the options. There are two player led options for non DV displays DV processing done as LLDV, low level Dolby Vision. My understanding is this is when using an external video processor. The other is DV as HDR 12-bit, either with 422 or 444 chroma subsampling, depending on what your HDR or HDR 10 plus display supports. I recommend visiting this AVS forum thread for guidance from experts if you have a Samsung TV or Epson or JVC projector, ones that don't support DV, but if fairly recent or new, likely do support 12-bit HDR. The last option VS10 is if you have a SDR only display but still want the benefits of Dolby VS10 processing and tone mapping. Going back to display LED with a Dolby Vision capable TV or projector, I recommend options as shown, unless you have a HDR10 Plus only non-DV display. In my case, as my projector doesn't support HDR10 Plus, I'm choosing to have any video with HDR10 Plus only converted to DV. For the rest of the settings, leave off or disabled. Two reasons for this. One, you can use the modded Kodi skin I mentioned to convert to VS10 SDR, VS10 HDR, or VS10 DV on the fly, which is better than doing it universally here. And two, if you watch 3D, forcing VS10 for SDR here will render the video as 2D and in whatever VS10 mode you chose. Also leave the audio correction option off unless you experience AV sync issues or dropouts with seamless branching disc rips. Okay, now let's check out Dolby VS10 at work with HDR10+, HDR10, and SDR videos. This is HDR10+, automatically processes DV. As you'll recall, I set this because my projector doesn't have HDR10+. Even if it did, however, I'd have opted to have it converted to DV. We have this life support system that's like perfectly designed to support billions of humans and Next up, a standard HDR10 clip, which per my VS10 selected options before, starts playback in its native format. I'm bringing up the on-screen menu of this modded Kodi skin that has VS10 mode selection option on the right, and now I can on the fly toggle to VS10 DV, or if I had a SDR only display VS10 SDR. HDR10 looked excellent natively earlier, but this VS10 process DV looks even better, with more dynamic color pop and slightly but noticeably better tone mapping, especially how the clouds show and with less clipping of highlights overall. In case your TV or projector handles HDR better or doesn't have DV, or converted DV looks too dark, then obviously you'd want to use HDR10 and maybe have some DV and SDR converted to HDR instead. Check out the HDR Dissector's YouTube channel and this video as he makes a compelling case for HDR VS10 conversions. Now, with SDR, let me share one example where I didn't care for converted VS10 DV and one where I did. How nice of you. I don't know if it's much of a thing. This SDR original looks quite excellent in person. 
but the VSN converted DV looks duller and a bit darker with contrast more muted. It may not be as apparent in this capture, but in person, the original looks better without any processing involved. It's only me. I always feel that greeting betrays such a lack of self-worth. Toggling back to the original STR is easy, as you can see, with a modded skin like this, made for CPM-based Corelic builds. Look at my number. Then why don't we walk to the Abbey this afternoon, if it's fine? Yeah, Robert's getting on in America. So here's an example where I did find the VS10 DV conversion better over the source SDR. Adam Smith needs revision. What are you talking about? Again, it's probably not really apparent in this capture, but the converted DV looks more pleasing with the upscaling, bit more dynamic color palette, and better handling of blacks and shadow detail. 50% credit also goes to my projector, Nebula X1's handling of DV, of course, and the DV Bright picture mode settings I'm using. In summary, from my experience with Dolby VS10 over the last five to six months, I've generally but not always found HDR10 and 10 Plus processed as DV better than the originals. With the DV-capable TV or projector solid handling of the converted VS10 that it's receiving. With SDR, I've found that VS10 processed DV only better about 50% of the time. However, being able to choose when and with which content to use VS10 on demand, on the fly, with a CPM-based core-like build and a modded skin is the way to go. Thanks for your interest in this video and for watching.